This is the new Moraquil. Moraquil is an ancient monster mod that came out a little bit earlier last year in 2023. Since then, they decided to redo the model abilities and animations, and that's what we're about to go through right now. So let's go through the subspecies right quick. Here is our common subspecies. It is all black with yellow and a little bit of like a grayish tint to it. It's pretty much the same as the original Moraquil default skin. We have rare, which is Sergia. It's not too much different other than the beak structure here. Next, we have the uncommon subspecies Vultura. It pretty much looks exactly like a Vultura. It has none of the head feathers and its nose crest is a lot smaller, less spiky. And let's take a look at the female skin right quick. The only real difference is it seems to have a lot of white as the base color instead of all black. I'm going to go through the calls right quick. Here is our broadcast. I like that one a lot, especially since you see how long its neck is. It's kind of weird, but I like it. Uh, two call. <laughs> A bit of a dance there. Threaten. I like that. That's actually reminds me a lot of like owls and how they threaten people. Uh, four call. That's really good. They actually made Moraquil dodge for that instead of just, you know, a little scared sound. There's a whole bodied animation for that. Uh, look around. It even does the whole head bob thing that most birds do. Shake. And a little scratch with it. Mystery. Kind of like a stretch. And then invite is going to be the same as the two call. All right. And here is our baby model. He pretty much just looks like a giant bald eagle baby chick. <laughs> He's pretty hideous uh, as most birds are when they're babies. But let's go through the calls right quick first we have broadcast oh no the lack of feathers just makes it look terrifying to call well that was a little bit cute it was a bit squeaky threaten that is the stuff of nightmares uh talk look around Ooh, wee. Those eyes or something. Shake. There's a little bit of a scratch there. Mystery. A little jazz hands. And then invite is the same as R2 call. Yeah. All right, let's do a couple of the baby animations. First, we have walk. It walks really fast. It has long legs. It's pretty tall, like very big for a baby. Here's our run. It's not much faster than the walk. Is our jump. That's really graceful, surprisingly. Our sit. Sleep. Ooh, its eyes are just so weird to me. I'm sorry. And then our get up animation. And let's see if we can fly right quick. Oh my gosh, we can. We barely have any feathers, but we can fly with this baby. You see these like stabby fingers that it has as well. It's kind of crazy. All right, here's our adult model. It's actually way bigger than the baby. Like the baby was big for a baby, but the adult model is pretty much as big as the old more quail model. But uh, let's go through the animations right quick. Here's our walk. It's got that centered head bobble. but it's pretty slow and see our run still kind of slow but maybe because of how big it is it'll just cover a lot of distance all right let's see our jump very graceful our sit nice sleep with a bit of a yawn he tucks his head in under the wing then our get up All right, let's see our flying. It looks a little weird when you're speed flying, like speed flying. He's flapping really fast, but other than that, it looks great from above. 
like very soaring in our turn turning is a little weird that's our precise movement while flying dive and our land here's our drink animation It looks a little strange, like like he has something in his mouth that isn't liquid. Here's our swim animation. Turns quite a bit. It's not bad speed, but it might just be also more quill size. And the wet skin we have here, very shiny. Right here's our disturbed burrow animation. Has the wings out, just kicks it. Here's our eating animation. It rips a chunk off really fast almost like it's starving all right let's go through these skins right quick first up is the default skin here then we have harpy royal blue jay crested pinecone Batulanto, thunderbird eagle and iridescent um i wouldn't say i like too many of them i like the blue jay and the eagle as well as the default skin but the rest of these are kind of wild <laughs> for me let's check out the abilities right quick i think these are our senses we have a balanced where all the stats remain untouched. Warrior, with the power of the ancient warriors, you gain strength but take more damage, plus attack minus defense. Then Hunter, with the power of the mighty hunter, you can chase down your prey but dish out less damage to opponents. So plus speed minus attack. We're not gonna mess with that right now. We have two head slots here. First we have Bite. Morco uses its serrated beak to cause massive damage, high damage attack. We have Air Grab. Morco uses its larger beak to grab its play while flying by, grab other players while flying. And then Savage Ripoff. Morco's neck is long enough to grab those who pounce on its back and give them a serious bite. Grabs pounce creatures off your back and does slight damage. That's gonna be very useful for our top two dinos right now that use pounce, Danon, and Lena. And Ventrix. And then our senses, we have Solar Wing, more quill that hunt during the day, get their energy from the sun, increase movement speed of more quill during the day. Then we have Night Hunter, more quill who hunt at night develop to regain their stamina while spending many hours flying through the night sky, increase stamina regeneration. Then we have Lone Hunter, where you gain 10% increased attack damage when not in a group. Front limb, we have two slots. We have Wing Slash. Morquill uses its razor sharp wingtips to make deep cuts into its foe. Low damage, high bleed. Makes sense with the new model that we have here. Then we have Shield Wing. Morquill uses its hard feathers like a massive shield, blocks incoming damage. Metabolism. We have Hyper Carnivore, where you're only able to eat meat. Pescatarian. Morquill are often seen hunting over the ocean. This led to a diet of fish and shellfish, but increased hunger drain. And then Scavenger. Morkul often travel for so long they have no choice but to eat. So they start eating any meat source that they can find, fast food and water drain. Our hide here, we have standard, which has no change in stats. Then we have swift scales. Morkul who often travel have scales that are polished to allow them to move quicker, but are softer and more likely to get hurt. So you increase your speed, but you also increase incoming damage. And then chain mail, when Morko fight for a while, the skills on his body become armor-like and make it harder for enemies to attack, but are weighed down due to the heavy scales. Increase armor, decrease speed. Okay, for our legs, we have a stomp. Morko uses its large feet to slam down on small pests that bite its ankles. Does area of effect and low damage, but each stomp does its own damage. Uh, interesting. We're gonna have to see what that exactly means when we test that out. And then back limb, we have nothing for back limb. All right, let's look at the ability animations. First up, we have bite. It's very quick. You can reach all the way to the ground with it, despite how big Morkul is, which is really fantastic. For all those really, really short dinos that we have in game. Next, we have Savage Ripoff. Okay, so yeah, like it said, it basically is going to pull off dinosaurs that pounce you and throw them to the ground with a bit of a thrash. Next, we have Stomp. Oh, okay, so it does three quick succession of stomps. So each of those stomps does its own amount of damage. I don't know whether that's high or low, but we'll definitely test that out. Next, we have Slash. Oh, it uses both arms instead of one arm like it did with the old model. Before, it would just pick a left or a right wing and kind of stab forward, but it basically rakes both hands, both wings together in this version of the attack. Next, we have Wing Shield. You have to hold it to use it. So as soon as you stop holding the button, it's going to drop down. Last but not least, we have air graph. You have to be speed flying to do it. And basically is going to reach downwards right underneath you like this. 
with your beak. You actually don't use your claws like I thought you would based on the icon. But that's okay. And yeah, that's about it for our friend Morquil here. I hope you guys like the rework. I covered this in my last mod news video, which I also have for other mods that will be upcoming. Definitely check those out. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.